Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over Bitcoin and specifically I'm going to uh, show you guys how sometimes I integrate Bitcoin or BTC 3x short off of KuCoin. Try to get more clues so you can make a better decision, especially at times of uncertainty. Now, this is by no means an endorsement of KuCoin's 3x short little program that they have going on. They have 3x short, 3x long. You can go over there and buy coins, basically. So you're like holding coins. You don't... Um, when you go over there and buy this, uh, those coins, per se, because that's what they're like. They're not contracts. They're coins. You're not in a contract where you can get liquidated. You're just holding on to them, and you, there's no uh, liquidation. So if you lose, you know, and you can do the hopium strategy and, and go, oh, I'm just going to hold on until the price comes back. Well, they might not come back. That's the problem with that strategy. But, you know, usually they do. But here's the thing. You can see uh, the correlation. Obviously, if B BTC 3x short is uh, going to be going down like that. You can see it's going to go up. So you see the mess it made in there, made a mess down here. It went up. This went down. And then right here, again, you know, I'm trying to line it up so it's lined up a little bit better with it. So you can see um, right here, it's down. And then Bitcoin is up. And then up, down. And then you can see the correlation with that. So basically, I think you all understand. That when this goes, this is going down, this goes up. Okay. So you can, what you can do is if there's times of uncertainty in Bitcoin, like it is over here, and you're like, okay, well, what's going on with Bitcoin? Is it going up, down? Uh, you know, wh where's the uh, potential trend of Bitcoin? You can go over to an asset like 3x short and maybe get some more clues out of it. And in my opinion, the 3x short, this is a three-day chart. It has a five-way move and then a three-way move. And a potential right here is an, a, a one and up for a two and three, four, five. So in my opinion, you have a good shot over here with the 3x short, the trend is going to be down. So you can see this trend over here from the 21st of August. No, what is that? 21st of June or May of June of 2021. 3x short was over here. And it went down like this. And when did it end? Look at that. The 12th of November. When was Bitcoin's top? Right about the 12th of November, right? So boom. So you have a shot of this coming up over here and making a trend down this way. Okay. So if perhaps this is right, I mean, here you got a five and then you got a three. It's like so. Five, three, five. You know, five, five, three, five. So five, one, two, three. And then over here should be a five. That's what I'm looking at. So that would go with my theory of the FOMO fifth wave because it can come up and then it might do one down here, 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 and then not give time for Bitcoin to go up to do a wave that will probably be as big as uh, just take a look at that. You know, just as an example, when it was over there and a 3x short was coming down like this in that instance pretty dramatically from you know, what was that, July, let's say uh, 21st of July to November, 21st of July, so 21st of July, so right here, you see, 21st of July, Bitcoin made a move like that, you can see right there, okay, finished off its wave, so I'm not saying it's going to be exactly like that, but the potential is there for a move over here, because of what's going on with the 3x short, and it could do that, so I'm going to go into that uh, 3x short, you know, people aren't pretty, this is, this is an impulse move to me. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this, you got your, here's your five, your, your five, three, and then your five up. And then this here is an impulse move. And I got a third wave peak and then a fifth wave right there. Boom. You see the divergence. So this is a flat one, two, three, four, five. And then this is another flat, in my opinion, just like what Bitcoin did over here on its big, uh, let me go to a eight hour chart real quick to show you guys, just to show you like, here's the flat that Bitcoin did, the three, three, five, and over here, three X short is, it's three, three, five up. It just, it did it in reverse, in my opinion. So what's going on with three X short, you know, you got your one, two, your one, and then your two somewhere over here, and then three, four, five, potentially with three X short, okay? So that's what I'm thinking. It's a little speculation, but hey, sounds good, doesn't it? You know, I'm just kidding. But this uh, this is a potential what's going on. I did the uh, fibs on that. And then I was looking at it going, hmm. Because the reality of it is, if, 
if this whole thing is the five wave, guys, then 3x short is going to go up into an A, come back down into a B, and then swing back up over here into a C wave to make this five and then this five, three, five, or A, B, C swing over here. So that means that, you know, maybe more upside for Bitcoin and then massive, not massive, but a good amount of downside for Bitcoin. But I think that this is, this is the move based off the RSI data. Cause you got at the lowest peak. That lowest peak is always your third wave usually guys. It's what you'll look for on the RSI, that lowest peak. And then you look for the divergence, that's a fifth wave move. So that's what I'm thinking is going on right there. So if I go over to uh, Bitcoin in this area, now I'm in this area. I'm going to go to a 45 minute chart, start checking that out and just do an evaluation. I go, okay, what's it going on here? I got a potential moves. But what I know about what Bitcoin did is a five wave move right here. There's no doubt about it. I think we all can agree that this is a five wave move down right here. Okay. so. Through the process elimination, you got you have two you have two uh, three options basically. You have a one two and it's going in for a three, or you have an A B C, and then it's going in up, or you could have five three, and then you could have a, a five over here where it could be making like a diagonal one two three four five. You, you can have a, a diagonal in your C leg. You could have a truncated like almost like a. Uh, a running flat in a way, but it wouldn't be a flat. It could be a flat though, over here. So let's take a look at uh, 3X short. I go to a 30 minute chart and I'll show you, that's too much. Let me go to a 45 minute chart. And then this is the move on 3X short. It's, it's five wave swing up. So a third wave peak, right? It's swing up. And now that area is just the opposite of Bitcoin. So I'm over at Bitcoin. It's just the opposite right here. Just the opposite of Bitcoin. And I wanna know what is this one doing? So I'm thinking that it's gonna be going down. Is it going down or is it going up? So it has, a, it has an impulse move right here. So I'm looking at it, there's a divergence from here to here. I got divergence. So more likely you got a five-way swing right there. So you take that, you know, one, two, three, four, five, right? So it's a five. And then it needs to swing up. It needs to swing up. So what do we got here? More than likely, just the opposite of Bitcoin, in my opinion. You got your three, three, and then wherever that five will end. So then what do you have? You got your full one, then you got your two, and then you got three, four, five. Possibly, possibly, just speculation. Things you can do to plan things out. You won't find out about this on Cryptos R Us. I don't think so. I don't think so, guys. You know, he might talk about 3X short, something like that, but I don't think. So here's the same thing. Possibly, instead of looking at this in a flat section, is maybe this is whole things five. And then because the 3X short looks like it's making a flat like that, see how it's just the opposite? It's just the opposite. I'm going to take that off. I'll show you. You see that, sw that swing? Boom. Look at Bitcoin swing. Boom, right here, boom, you see that? Boom, just the opposite, except one's going up, the other one's going down. So you have a good shot if B, uh, the BTC 3X short over here is making a A, B, C, well maybe it's making this A, B, C over here, like this. Here's your A, your three-way swing, and it's coming down for a C come back down to probably test those lows. And there's your three wave swing potentially. Here's your five, either it ends here or there, don't know yet, five, three, five. And then uh, the reason I say that too, guys, is because th this is what they do when they're looking for bottoms. They come like right there, just test the lows, test the lows, you gotta get everybody scared. You know, a wave one, remember I said that, oh crap waves, they go up and come all the way back down. Could be doing it over here again. So come back up and go all the way back down, just like Bitcoin will go right there. Oh yeah, make sure I think everybody thinks I'm bearish. I am so bearish. And then boom, it goes up there and starts doing that, right? Because that's what it does. That's what it does. You get everybody scared, nervous and everything. So at the end of the day with Bitcoin, if it maintains this 19,527, 
and then you see it come down here and swing back up and it gets above 20,570. That's good. That's good. And then if it breaks that, uh, what is that? 19,520 more or less. If it breaks that, you'll have your answer. So we should know here in the next couple of days uh, what's going on with Bitcoin. But I just want to show you guys another strategy that you can do. If so be you have your money on the line, use all available data to have the advantage to have the advantage, especially in a bear market when things are, are going down and it's not so volatile right now, but when they can be volatile. Bear market, one, if you're in it and you still have dry powder, you're a, you're a winner in my book. You know, you haven't lost a whole lot. You either kept your drive. You're just sitting there waiting for the uh, bull market to come back. You're still going to be a winner because you're still here during the bearish, bearish market, the bear cycle where every most everybody's left. That's why Bitcoin's not going up, guys. It's because we're right here. No buyers around. They're they're gone. They're gone. They're waiting. What's it gonna do? I know it's going to 10K because Jim Cramer said so from CNBC, right? It's gotta go down there because he said it's going down there. So that's what they're waiting for. No buyers are around. They're not around. So, you know, just have this strategy. And if 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 you're in the bear market and you've done a few trades, you know, and you lost some, well, hey, you know, and you made some, you're still a winner. If you're here, basically, what I'm saying, guys. If you're here right now in the crypto space looking for the bottom, you're going to be the winner in the next cycle. You should be as long as you don't screw it up. All right, guys. Made all the way to the end. Do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.